Yo, what's up? So, kind of wanted to talk about the last, or not the last season, but the season two of Demon Slayer, and holy hell, that was dope. <laughs> like, the first season was awesome, and the fight scenes were dope, and the animations <clears throat> were, like, beautiful. The art style was, like, incredible. I remember when it first dropped, everybody was freaking out, like, yo, these fucking, like, this is the first anime." Or this is the first anime that's animations look like this. Like, it's wild. It mixes in, like, CG. It looks like it mixes in CGI or, like, 3D animations. I'm not sure. But, like, it, it was such a beautiful art style. And then on this season, I'm, well, I mean, on Mugen Train, the movie, it was actually really dope, too. But I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to rewatch that because I watched it one time when I was, like, I think I was, like, super baked or or. or drunk or something because i can't really remember what happened i remember like the first half of the movie and then i forgot what happened but i mean season two kind of picks up where it left off and kind of recaps for the first few episodes voice crack it kind of recaps for the first few episodes to let you know what happened on mugen train or basically like you know and then um <clears throat> i mean dude the like basically this whole fucking season was a fight like a fight scene which is badass like literally I usually never keep up with anime, like, episode by episode. I try to, well, usually I, I didn't even get into anime till like, a few years ago. So, most of the stuff that I started watching was already completed. Uh, except, like, Attack on Titan. That's the one that I'm trying to keep up with right now. But, I mean, that one's about to finish as well. And then Demon Slayer obviously came out. And then I got a whole bunch of other recommendations. But, like, I'm still trying to watch One Piece, bro. I... I I seen like the first five episodes and then I use it as background noise every time I go to work so that my dogs have something to hear. <laughs> but other than that, like I haven't, I have, I mean, I watched all of Naruto, Boruto. I'm trying to keep up with now too. But the point is, whenever I first started watching anime, I, I, I was never one to like wait for the next episode or be waiting on, you know, like I, it was just all there and I could just go watch the whole thing. And it was always dope. But now, this shit got me on the edge of my seat, and I'm like, and then it ends, and I'm like, fuck, where's the next episode? And then you gotta wait, you know? So, I mean, I haven't had that experience for a long time, and this show actually made me excited for the next episode. Like, I'd be gone, hanging out with some homies or something, and they'd be like, oh, did you see the new Demon Slayer? Oh, peace, I'm out, see ya, I gotta go watch it first. Or, honestly, actually, it's what made me download Hulu on my phone, because I used to see one of my other homies, like, watch... Uh, videos or like hulu on his phone and i was like man that's just gonna like drain your battery like just wait till you get home and watch hulu you know like sit down and relax and eat something but no nah, this show and attack on titan kind of got me like okay let me download it so i can watch it if it pops up while i'm at work <laughs> and uh i mean for good reason it was fucking awesome man the animations were dope the characters like made you care a little bit more for them i wouldn't say like there wasn't much character development. I mean, that kind of all happened in the first season. But this one, like, some shit happens to make you, like, like, feel some shit for them, you know? Like, I don't want to spoil anything, but, I mean, holy shit. Like, sometimes you're just like, oh, no. And then, at the, and then, and then honestly, I like how this, I like how this show explains, like, how people got to where they are because you'll see someone and they're like a complete asshole and you're like dude what the fuck is your problem man there's no forgiving you there's no way i would ever forgive you you know and then they show like a couple scenes from what they had to go through and then it's like oh well now that you're a little bit humanized i wouldn't i kind of want you to redeem yourself you know i kind of want you to you know i don't know i like that this show does that kind of stuff and again it kind of you know Stuff is going to happen. I'm not trying to spoil anything, but... I mean, Inusuke was fucking... Again, like a badass, you know? Just running around, slicing shit up. Uh, Tanjiro, you know? Kids always, like, touching your heart, making you want to be a better person. And, uh... I mean, he unlocks, like, a new power that's fucking wicked, bro. And then whenever he, like... Man, his face, whenever he goes into that mode, like... You know, his eyes... They have no pupils or no like nothing. They're just white and bloodshot, and it's fucking sick, dude. It looks so gnarly whenever he goes into his mode like that. And then like during some of the fight scenes, the camera angles, man, like it's not like just showing the profile of this person attacking this, you know. Like it shows like different angles to where you're like, 
like you're seeing like I don't know how to explain it but basically the artwork looks three dimensional even though you know it's a 2D kind of show you know does that make sense like the angles that they show like instead of just showing like right here or like right up front they'll be showing like from down under here catching this uh view and like it's it's just it's just gnarly man the artwork is so great i have no idea how they're pushing this out so quick because i heard whenever the first season came out i i had heard that they literally finished the season and then dropped it like they didn't have anything else done for it i don't even i wasn't even sure if they were going to make another season people were saying it was just a one season show and then like what a few months later or like a year later the movie comes out and then now a whole another season like this kind of artwork i i figured it would take a while but then again i don't know if they're using like cgi and stuff because like i said some of it really does look three-dimensional and it looks fucking great and then i mean like zenitsu he was fucking cool like usually in the first season he annoyed the shit out of me and in the train too like when he's just always yelling and stuff like i get it you're a goofy character that's your quirk but I mean, Jesus, like, sometimes it's like, dude, shut up. <laughs> like, sometimes it's just like, chill out, bro. Like, fucking, like, sit down and be quiet. You can be scared all you want. Just stop talking. Stop yelling. And uh, in this season, he spends, like, 90% of it asleep. So he's fucking, he's badass, bro. And then, when it, like, hearing him actually talk like a badass, because, I mean, he sleeps, so he ain't really scared, but... Hearing him talk in a voice that's like, uh, well, I don't know Japanese, but basically he's just like, Tanjiro, we need to work together to get it, blah, 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 this and that. Instead of, you know, Tanjiro, ah, I'm scared, you're chasing me. It's like, dude, you know, he was a lot cooler in this season. And I mean, bruh, Zenitsu has such, like, be my character, bro. You're such a badass. The dude is fucking dope. His power is awesome fucking lightning strikes and shit the dude is quick he looks cool you know like he's such a cool character it's just annoying when he's fucking yelling all the time man but i mean this season they did everything everything better um i have no idea what the next season is gonna be and it's actually fucking cool because well i forget there's what like 13 uh, upper rank demons or something like that i was gonna say like the way this season went kind of how they're doing like arcs and stuff you can literally, or they can, uh, maybe, if, uh, I don't know. I feel like this show has potential to technically go on forever because if you're hunting demons and demons are made all the time, you could just have different arcs every time, you know? the uh, This demon arc, the that demon arc. But I mean, if there's only 13 upper rank demons, then they're probably just going to have 13 arcs. But I don't know. Uh, I'm definitely excited to see the, see what they have in store for us next. Season three, I have no idea when that's gonna come in. Fucking maybe next year, which I highly doubt. I'm sure something like this would take years. But then again, look how quickly they've been pushing out all these. So I don't know. Uh, definitely recommend watching it. I'd say this season was honestly better than the 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 first season. First season was really really good. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. That's where you learn all these people. That's where the character development is. This season, the first few episodes. Are kind of slow like it's kind of building up what's happening and also talking about what happened on the train and i'm not gonna lie this hashira uh uzui he was fucking or ten ten oh, tenzin he was a uh, or ten tenjin i forget his I forget. but uh he was he was awesome but i don't know i feel like he was one of the weaker hashira because there was too many times where he was like on his ass for I mean, this demon basically, or, okay, I'm, well, I'm not going to say anything, but this upper rank that they were fighting, uh, I totally just lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, he this upper upper rank kind of put this Hashira on his ass a few times, and, uh, like, yeah, and then the first few episodes, they're, like, they're, like, literally sucking his dick so hard on how, oh, He's so cool. He's so handsome. He's so charismatic. Like, he's got three wives, man. Everybody wants to love him. Everybody wants to be him. Everybody wants to, you know? And it's like, like, the first time they explain all that and they show that he's got three wives, it's like, okay, cool. 
but then they just keep saying that over and over and over again and then his his thing like i don't know if it's the the translation uh or or what but everybody in this show like once they say one thing that's like their catchphrase but like him it's always like flashy like i've got to be flashy make sure you do that flashy we're gonna go eat but we got to eat flashy uh whenever i die i want to die flashy whenever you die you need to die flashy um oh you're super unflashy like that's very not flashy of you flashy flashy flash like that's his word right and it's like dude how many times are you going to use that word and then same with the i think the demon had a word that he kept using too he was like um uh what was it? It wasn't pathetic. He was saying something like, you're such a, like, you're so disgraceful or something like that. I think that's what he said. So disgraceful. And then that's his word. Oh, super disgraceful. Look how disgraceful you are. You're so disgraceful. I'm not disgraceful. He's disgraceful. Yo, imagine being disgraceful, bro. Couldn't be me. You guys are so disgraceful, man. You're just a disgrace, man. You're disgraceful. Sorry, bro. Disgrace. And it's like, dude, you can't, there's fucking synonyms, man. You use multiple words. But like I said, I don't know if it's like, maybe sometimes he's saying pathetic. Maybe sometimes he's saying, oh, you're so, like, you. I don't know. But what are other words are there for uh, that? Like, you're, just, it, you're so shameful. You're so, uh, uh, you're such a loser. Like, you could say so many other things, but this motherfucker says, I, th- I, I, I want to say it was disgraceful. Maybe it was something similar to that. But, like, literally within one episode or half an episode, the the motherfucker said it, like, 78 times. And then the flashy word was used, like, 100 times. So, I don't know. That's another thing that I don't like. I don't like that uh, on this show that they're quirks. Like, once you learn one thing about them, that's their whole thing. Like, Inosuke, he's, he's cool and all, but, like, I don't know. I feel like with him, they're always just making him... Well, I mean, I guess that is his character. It's like attack first, ask questions later. But, like, I don't know. I feel like they need to give him a little more, like, like, you know, he's not just a brute. You know, the dude is, is smart. Like, let him fucking expand, you know. But, I mean, all of them, it's kind of realistic. Like, they're not overdoing it, I feel. Like, some of the times when they fall, a fall could be, like, it could fucking break a rib and you didn't even notice. Like, you saw he hit hard, but in other anime, they'll fucking... Like, they'll take your everyday human and throw him through a 15-story building, and then he's just like, oh, that's going to hurt tomorrow, you know? But on this one, like, literally, if you push someone off a second-story building and they land on their side, they're going to be like, oh, I think I just broke my rib. I can't do anything. And then that affects them for the rest of the fight. So that's another cool thing I like about this show. I don't know, man. I'm just rambling at this point, but definitely worth a watch if you haven't watched it watch it i'll probably go watch mugen train again and i'm definitely gonna watch through this season again because that fight was gorgeous it was just beautiful to watch and i mean like i said at the end the demons kind of you know yeah you're always I'm, I'm pretty sure with every demon they're gonna end up showing you their backstory making you realize what happened and then it's gonna humanize them and you're gonna be kind of like oh and it's crazy man it's crazy it definitely is a touching show but uh Yeah, that's about it. See ya.